Okay, so here we are in the warehousing template that's been passed down into the Android device here. So you can see the template that's built up here. You can see get work order, walk to storage, get part, pack and so forth. So you see them down in here. Now where there's options, like the delay has options underneath it, notice it's followed by dot dot dot. It's the same up in the get part area dot dot dot. Right? So to do that, so you'll tap on the delay and it'll bring up the different options and you tap on the conveyor and you can see right down here You've got delay, conveyor, belt and shaft. Here are the different options right here. I'll go back up to the highest level. Now we're ready to start the time study. So we're going to click on the, uh, the start here. And uh, since we've predefined the sequence over here, that brought up the get work order. You can see one, two, three, four, five. You can have many different sequences. Like you can have 11, 12, 13, 21, 22, 23. So you can have multiple different sequences in here. When that getting the work order is finished, then you tap on the time button and it's going to move on to the second one, which is walk to storage. So for repetitive operations, it's very easy. You can just tap through as each of the different events happen here. You can see the time being accumulated here. And when you hit the time, it stops that particular activity and moves on to the next one. Then you do the pack. And the update order sheet is the last activity in our sequence, element five in the background here. So when I hit the time here, it's going to go back to the get work order. And now we're starting the second sequence the second uh, cycle of that particular one. You click, keep on hitting the time here, and it will keep on rolling around here. So if you're doing a repetitive operation, it's very easy. Now let's say you're going to pack multiple items. You might want to tap on the repeat button down here. See it's red, meaning it's not the repeat isn't working right now. If I tap on it, it'll turn to green. So now I can pack multiple items, right? And it just keeps on going as many times as I tap it. Let's say he's doing four items. And then I'm going to tap on the repeat again. It's going to stop it and it will continue on to the update order sheet then. Right? If you come out of sequence, let's say get work order, he's getting walk into storage, and you're expecting him to do the get a medium part, but he doesn't do that. Let's say he's now doing something, he's updating the IT record. So we can click on the um, update IT record, and it will change the description down here. Right? Now update IT record is not part of our sequence. So when I hit the time, it's not going to know what comes next. So then you might come back in again and say now he's getting a part. Let's say he's getting a small part now. Right? So he's going to do that. And then he's going to pack that off. So you see it still doesn't know because get a small part was not part of our sequence either in the background here. Right? And now let's say he's going to do the pack. So we put the pack in. And you see it's accumulating the time for the pack now. But pack is part of our sequence. It's part of the rep repetitive cycle. So it will pick up again, update order sheet. And roll around here. Now let's say you want to change the, the performance rating. So the guy's walking to storage. So what you want to do is tap on the uh, the rating here. Of course, you'll have a stylus, right? And you're going to tap on the rating right there. And it's going to bring up the different rating values. You can scroll up and down through the different values. Let's say I change it to 85%. That will stay there. And that will be carried forward to subsequent observations. You can see it being done here. Just as I tap on the time each time it, uh, it occurs here. Now let's say the guy ups his pace a little bit. So we can touch that again. It will remember where it was at 85. We're going to change it up to 95 now. And that will be carried forward up here. So you basically continue on your way, keeping on doing it. In a repetitive study, it's very easy. Uh, and you can just uh, keep going until you get to the last cycle. And you finally to update the order sheet. You can then hit the stop. And you've basically completed your repetitive time study. To exit, all you do is click the done. Done at the bottom left here. And that will take you back to the main menu. And then from there you can select different templates, do multiple studies, and so forth.